Good morning, this is Dwayne, and today we're going to take a look at the flat three, two, flat two turnaround chord progression. It's both a chord progression, but it's also a turnaround, and that's how it's usually used. But you can use it in both senses. Uh, and what it is, is say you're playing in the key of C, and you come to a break in a song. Let's say you're playing Blue Moon. That's the turnaround. See, I came to the end of the phrase. Someone really could care for. Now we turn around. We go from the one chord to the flat three chord, to the two chord, to the flat two chord. Okay? Let's just take it in, in basic triads. If I'm in the key of C, it would be like this C, E flat, D, D flat. And it could be any form of those. It could be. Uh, C, E flat minor, D minor, D flat minor. It just depends on the, the sequence. I think I'm using an all as major. Let's see. Yeah, I'm using all as major, okay? Now, that's, that's the basic turnaround. The one, three, two, flat two. But when you voice it out a little, a little fuller, it sounds more interesting. Let me do it in context. See that? One flat three, two flat two, one. Okay? And you can use it anytime you anytime you have a turnaround. Let me explain a turnaround first of all. What is a turnaround? It's where you have a dead space in the music where you have to come back to the same chord. For example, in Blue Moon, we went like this. See, there's a lot of beats there. One, two, three, two, two, three. Before it starts in again. So during that dead time, one, two, three. See how that works? Okay. So that's the one flat three, two, flat two turnaround chord progression. It's a mouthful, but it's something you probably ought to know. So thanks for being with me. If you enjoy these tips, come on over to playpiano.com and sign up for a whole series of tips because they are free. And you'll learn a lot, I think. So thanks and bye-bye for now.